everyone. Thanks for, um, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for coming back. Um, it's Jen from Catascraft Designs. I am here today to make um, vintage faux tape. So I'm going to be using um, this glossy tape and I don't recommend using satin finish tape and I'll I'll tell you why. So this is what the satin finish tape looks like. It doesn't come out looking like the other tape, the non-satin. So I just wanted to let everybody know that um, just because I don't have a label on here so it's not telling me exactly what it is, but it's non-satin, um, the non-satin finish. I like the satin finish for wrapping gifts, but uh, it's not good for this project. So I'm going to be making some of this using alcohol inks and um, I need some of this for my next project. So I thought I'd bring you along. So I'm not going to make a whole lot and you're not going to probably be able to see where I'm putting this tape. And I'm not doing it in full strips just because then I got to cut it when I need it. I know you can't see where I'm putting it. I can't see where I'm putting it um, because I'm using this acetate um, paper. And I'm using that because it'll be easy for me to take off. When I need it. I have about two, four, six, Eight. I have about eight pieces there. One, two, eight, nine, ten. I'll do ten for now. So I have three different inks here. I have ginger, latte, and caramel. Now you could use just one or you could mix it up. I might do a little bit of both. It's hard to see when you don't, when you have the clear acetate. I'm going to mix it up here. And then we're going to take a sponge and we're just going to dab it. I mean, you could leave it like this and let it dry and then use what's there, but we want to get you want to make sure you're getting it all. Some of it looks a little darker than others because I put a little more on. Now I could see where the tape is. 
So I have a lot of ink on this sponge, but unfortunately, there's nothing we can do about that. It's wasted ink. I wonder, I'm just gonna test this out. I'm gonna put a piece going up right here. And I wonder if I take my excess ink and put it on, it is going on there. Very nice. I don't know how much excess ink is on there. I don't know exactly how much I'm gonna need for my project. I just know I'm gonna need it. So it's already dry, cause this is already really, this is already dry. And then you can always put more to make it darker if you wanna make it darker. I'm just gonna put a little of the latte. In certain spots, just it's not perfect. It's not supposed to be perfect. I think the latte color is the color I like the best. And you can see there. And I do the caramel on the other side. I'm just curious. We're doing a little experimentation here. See the color is not that different. I still think I like the latte better. And it's already drying. So I'm gonna let it dry like that because when you use the tape, you're gonna be cutting off or tearing off into little pieces. You might even um, do half of, I believe that's a half a inch. It is a half inch, so you might do, you might even tear it down to a quarter of an inch And then once it's dry, this is what it looks like. So when I say you might tear it down, you might just tear it down the middle and use smaller pieces. I know that's what I would do. I wouldn't use a whole, you know, depending on the project. So, 
you could get these sponges. I think I got a bag of them. I already used half a bag. I bought these probably three years ago um, at the Dollar Tree. 28 sponges come in a pack. So I think, yeah, the, it's dry already. So if you have a clear piece of acetate, um, you could even use parchment paper. Um, to make sure that it comes off clear. Um, I mean, comes off clear, it comes off easy. And then you could use these on your vintage projects and it'll look like real, real vintage tape, real vintage tape, you know, 50 year old tape. Um, whether you're putting it on you know, on a corner of a picture that you're putting in your journal, um, so just some ephemera, it'll look pretty old. So guys, if you don't have alcohol inks, there is another way you could make um, vintage faux tape. If you have brown tissue paper from your, um, it's not going to look exactly the same, but it'll it'll give it a similar effect. Um, if you have brown tissue paper from some of your sewing pattern and double-sided tape. So basically, you just take your double-sided tape you put it on you could cut the strips first um, either or you put it on your double side tape and it might come out crinkly which is fine it gives it that effect that it's even older um, We'll do a couple of them. sticky So then you take, to make it a little bit darker, take your ink, it could be your tea dyed ink, it could be um, your vintage photo ink, and just run across it. The part that's sticking up just doesn't have tape underneath it.
So don't feel you need to go out and buy the alcohol inks. If you have regular ink, you could get a similar effect. It might look a little more like masking tape, but it still looks like tape. And this is just another way of, of doing it, of getting that effect. So I hope that helps. Um, I hope that helps you out and just gives you another idea. Um, again, if you lift it up, I have a piece here on the side that I can lift up. Again, just, just another way of doing it. My samples I'm going to just stick here. So again, I hope that gave you guys some inspiration to want to try out the um, Vintage Faux tape and use it in your next project. Uh, until my next video, you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you for watching. Bye.